Hello everybody. Uh, my name is Chi. Thank you to uh, Chairman, uh, the professors of the, of the universities for giving us the opportunities uh, to present here. And of course, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the topic today is about uh, security services. And what is, the, what is this uh, topic about? So what is the uh, security services? Take into the context of the uh, smart cars, right, or in the daily life. So you are driving a car and of course there is a dashboard and you can navigate the dashboard using the mobile phone devices. And so of course you can see the weather situation, you can navigate the mapping uh, for the rocks, etc. And even if somebody were to get close to the car, uh, there is an intrusion alert that can be so-called sent to your mobile devices as well. So there is these technologies in place today uh, that is relating to your daily life as far as the remote services is concerned. And uh, to transform this into the automation communication services, uh, there is three key pillars as far as the remote services is concerned. Okay, first of all, we have the plant automations, uh, the operation support, and last but not least, the safety and security as the main philosophy, which I will articulate more in the next couple of slides as well. Okay, so relating to the theme of this event, the Industry 4.0, and of course, Yokogawa, we have our own uh, IOT of the Industry 4.0, uh, the branding we call the Synetic Business Automation. Okay, so in terms of the Industry 4.0, it is creating a lot of disruptions for our daily life. And uh, of course, we have to embrace the disruptions that is uh, causing for us in terms of you know the Uber in the industry today, and of course we have the Airbnb. Um, it will also change in terms of the way we are doing the business today, the way we are designing the products, and of course, in a way, it is also transpired into certain form of benefits for consumers, for suppliers, for contractors, and even for the customers. So this is the evolution of the industry 4.0 from the ERAS, and this is initiated purely by the German government. So the Industry Follow Zero has been a very successful initiative and it has been uh, embraced widely in German context and of course outside the German um, Germany communities as well. As the cyber world is interconnected, so all the devices in terms of the instrumentations, the analysis in the plants, the sensors, uh, the PLCs, the DCS. And we are gathering, amalgamating a huge amount of the data and we call the big data. And through the use of this uh, big data, we are translating into analytics, into informed decision making process. And of course, to provide some form of the intelligence in terms of uh, predictive analysis, which I will also illustrate more in terms of how predictive analysis can be applied uh, for the process industry and how Yogawa is embarking into this journey as well. So all this analytics information is of critical data for us in view of the aging populations. So as the population is aging and with the impulse of the next generations, the workforce for the next generations has a different expectations. They do not want to go into the refineries, they do not want to wear the safety gears, uh, put on the helmets or put on the safety vests and work in the dirty and uh, uh, polluted uh, kind of the environment conditions. And therefore we have to transport all this kind of the taxi knowledge into the wisdom. And the wisdom will in a way able to sustain the business and to facilitate the younger generations to achieve a better kind of automations for the process industry.